Hello and welcome back to Space Otter playing Stray. Uh, as I said in pre the previous episode, I was going to search for the third energy can, energy can, energy drink can, and uh, look into the safe password. Uh, and I managed to do it. I found the third can, uh, also actually a little bit hidden, the most hidden of them all, uh, close to Granny's place and in an alley, alley uh, close to her, but uh, it was on the second level on a balcony, uh, so it wasn't super it wasn't super hard to find because this slums area isn't that big, but uh, anyways. And uh, I'm actually going over to fix the password. Uh, I found the, found the password, but uh, uh, I haven't used it yet. I wanted to do it, do it in an episode. So... Let's get down uh, to the lower levels. Should be... Yeah, here it is. This is the... As... Uh, what was it? his name? Elliot? The programmer? Said, said that uh, it was in uh, the duffer bar and uh, I, I was running around and looking everywhere and then I found this little thing so and there we have it one two eight three Wait... Something beneath it. O love equals seven? Ah, anyways, one, two, eight, three. And let's find the safe then. Music note. Uh, sheets or whatever. Then we can give it to him. I have given the other music notes already. Uh, oh, sheet music. Uh, unreadable sheet music. Hmm, not very readable, but I can still try. I'm missing one sheet music now uh, because I I've give, been giving I have given all the sheet music I found. Uh, some of them have been good, some have been really bad. And that was it. But the, the thing is, I can't just. You can just uh, spam him uh, with the sheet music. You have to let him play the <coughs> music. Uh, uh, until the end and then you have to run away and then come back and then you can give him next one. Uh, yeah, the market is this way. Let's see what's what this last thing is then. Uh, this is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. Three energy drink cans. 
Yes, I have that. Aha, memory. This is an early modern, early, early model of a companion. Back then, they didn't have any personality. They were, they were just glorified autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice that they eventually mimicked humans. It's like they missed them, and in a way, they kind of kept them from going, going extinct. They're good robots. Hmm. Okay. I have one more memory in this air area to find. Uh, and it seems that it's up on the roofs. Uh, I was actually up there and looking around a little bit to find it, but I couldn't see it. But let's get back to Momo, uh, because we now have what's uh, needed to fix the transceiver. I will find the memory when I'm up here and walking. I also have noticed that you can return to earlier chapters and such if you want to, so... Uh, I will most probably, probably not aim for uh, a completionist run. Uh, and then if I want to, I can just return to the chapters and find the things, uh, find the things I missed. I just want to check uh, over here. Ah, okay. Uh, I was thinking maybe it was something with this TV, but it's not. Uh, because if you look at the memory sc scrambled here, it looks like a, some sort of tin roof. Uh, uh, some energy readout and it looks like a robot sitting. The energy readout could be the robot's head, but uh, it looks more like something like this. This thing. So if we go back and look at it. Yeah. Could be a head also. So uh, I thought first that it could be, have been this one, but he's sit uh, lying down, not sitting. Uh, sure, that one is sitting, but. He's not on a tin roof or whatever these roof, plate roof things are called. Uh, so I haven't really been around and looking so much. I 
I know I should go up to Momo. There it is! Uh, but the, um, okay, that's fine. Get out there. Correcting what I saw. It looks like uh, this poor guy also wanted to go up, go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and the sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior. So, it seems to... Seems like I found all memories in this area. Hmm. Nice. Yep. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay. A little bit buggy, buggy, but not a real problem. So what's missing is one sheet of music. That can be... that one can be about the ev wherever. So let's go to mom instead. Oops. Don't go down. I want to jump over here. <laughs> Buy box. Hey little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Uh... Oh, you found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I have ever met. That's Baltasar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible! That means we shouldn't be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, Sebaltazar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of young transceiver. Et voila! It works! Come with me! Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I have things to do. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. 
You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zergs. We need you, li little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Fuck ye. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I just want to check around a little bit first. I'm so used to forgetting to set the timer, so I, I look at it all the time. So, yeah, shit, I set it. The timer's on. <laughs> And then a few seconds later, I have to check it again. Rooftops. Oh, why didn't... <laughs> I want a UV uh, light upgrade. I don't know if I, we're ever going to get it, but... Mute to attract enemies. Why would I want to attract them? prepared for them to jump off to me at that place. This is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy camps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope. And not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Ah, yeah, and if I jump on it again... Okay, interesting. Thank you. 
Okay. Hack the door again. Okay. Yes. And now they're in here with me. Hack the door again. And then I can jump over. And they're trapped on the other side. Nice. Yeah, I can look a little bit closer on them. Okay. They, they look cute, ugly. way first. Uh, it doesn't seem to be anything. Alright. Like, this area is more how I uh, thought the game was would be. Uh, uh, so it's fun that there will be some areas that's more about exploration and some that's more about uh, like platformy stuff. Looked like one of the memories was in an area similar to this, but doesn't seem to be here. Oh. Yuck. to make sure where I'm supposed to go before so oh shit can they get to me no Thing I'm going to have to hack the door, get them out here, hack the door once again. Oh, there's the memory. Neko Corporation. Neko Corp. They were responsible for waste management, as trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums. They try to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. Ah, okay. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated 
growing, eating away more trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. Then it's one major memory in this area. Okay, high up, so I'm guessing uh, at the top of the building where we're going. Hmm. Oh well, heck door. Come on, you bastard. Oh shit. Ah! Luckily, the Zerks are pretty easy to avoid. <laughs> Ow. Fuck you. Ah, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> okay, elevators almost. Done. And now, quickly. Ooh. Okay, that was a bit fun. Sure, I, I actually was recording. Okay. Huh? Okay. Ah. ah. Here it is. Put the trans transceiver on this antenna.
Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they are only lights marking the hermetic roof ceiling of the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we shouldn't be able to get help. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Luckily enough, someone have installed all these uh, barrels for me to ride on. I talked about them. Um... Oh, okay, came to Momo immediately. Anyways, where's Mama? Look, a note! Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent! I took some equipment to their bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is... <laughs> Thanks! Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go! Hey. Oh. <laughs> Here's the lock for the window. The code was. Hmm. It was an H, I think. Error. Wrong key. Whoops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. And then it was O, or was it a zero? Let's see. Success! It worked! Mom is at the bar waiting for us. Okay. Ooh! I haven't seen you before. Of course, they, they can have changed. Yeah, they have changed position on on some of the droids. Oh, uh, let's check. Yeah, there doesn't uh, seem to be any more new uh, memories in this area. I love the weather right now. I don't think the weather is changing so much. Uh, can I? Ah, oh, yeah, it's just this house. Of course, I can get up on it. I want to talk to the Svanito. I could name those lights like real constellations. The big circle, the ball. No, needs more brainstorming. Hello you! What do you want? Uh, nothing. Hmm. 
god, it's actually moving around now. You look lost. What do you need? Nothing. Okay, the bar was down here. Hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. <laughs> Hey, get up on, on this. Okay, now I can. Oh. <laughs> Let me see if I can do, get this thing working. I have almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello! Yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Spartasar? Momo? Shh. I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Spartasar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, uh, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? Oh, hello. Darn it, we lost the signal. I can't believe it. Spultasar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Sebaltas are made it, there must be a way. The with the a UV light, maybe. <laughs> You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with Zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Men have tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of uh, my business. Hmm. Seamus. His father, Doc. Father? Okay, interesting. Used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has n never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. In the last episode, or so I was talking about uh, uh, Mutant uh, Year Zero games, uh, and I've been thinking maybe sometimes in the future I will play the video game based on uh, that game. Role playing game. Come on, Seamus, open the door. 
You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you... I think I have an ID. <laughs> Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to re-establish communication with others. What are you doing in here? I told you getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be! Uh, what's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Oh, whoa, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? Still need a code for that. And here we have something. Time will tell. Okay, so a, la uh, a clock somewhere. Oh, here we have the code. Uh, two, five. Oops. Two, five, one. One. Okay, let's try it out. never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. Well, he told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Observations, cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to intense light. Robots news headlines. Circle officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. The Fluxer blueprint. Concept, light-based handgun. Low priority, visual appearance, size, decibel emitted. High pri priority, test in real condition. Objective, 20 circ destroyed per second. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, another box. Oh, there's something here. Broken t track. Find anything interesting in here? A broken tracker? Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely De definitely took one with him. We, we just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open the door for you. Um, the programmer should be able to repair this. We have the programmer. That's a whole, whole thing to remember. Uh, somewhere to the right here. I don't really remember where it was. Uh, this is the beginning of the area, the start of it. And here we have Grandma. Ah, here it was. Uh, and the entrance was up here. Or the new entrance. Thanks for the poncho. Please come see me if you ever need anything fixed. Oh, whoa, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update and one more thing. Voila! Fixed tracker. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. Nice, quick and easy. Uh, um, um, yeah. Where was I? Where was his house? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I. It was here. It's not so big of a place, so... Did you manage to fix that tracker? You did it! You fixed it! Well done! Give it here! We got a ping. Is Papa real alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went.
This must be it. You really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. I was starting to think we should have to talk to Guardian about uh, opening this door. Oof. Sirks. Look at all these Zerg's uh, eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerg's will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. Oh. I'll open the door for you. Look at how huge this wall is. I remember, it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Okay, two memories more in this area. Dead end. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck it. Uh. Oh, no, 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 get away. Ah, ah fuck. Ooh, I'm too good for you. Ah, sorry. Okay, this is a bad place to be. I wanted to check the area. Ah, get away from me! Bastards! Seems to be that you heal pretty quickly. Oh, okay, nice. I didn't notice it, but it was a drop. I like these chase sequences, they're pretty fun. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ouch! Uh, are you okay? That was a huge fall! Doc shouldn't be nearby, we must be close. Oh, okay, I hurt myself again. Okay, now I'm fine again.
Aha. The scientist I used to work for uh, always uh, said he wanted to retire to a little cottage, fishing all day long. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. When we get to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what uh, the scientist would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. Uh, I think this will be a good place to end for this episode. Um, at the time, I'm not ending exactly now, but at the time I actually really liked the game. It's not nothing really special in the controls or anything, but the feeling, the um, environments and mood and everything is really good and great. But yeah, this will be a good place to end it at. So, thank you for watching, and hopefully we will see each other in the next episode. Goodbye!